Hello, welcome to the Nugget on the Built Environment, where we'll be describing architectural subsystems and how they are relevant for the selection of materials and their performance. My name is Javier Orozco. From the very beginning, uh, when housing was to be made in the ancient times, what uh, was most needed is how to put something on top of our heads. Obviously, we are past the cave phase, then we had to introduce the concepts of post and lintel. This was supported through different columns in the Greek orders and basically it's uh, what we can describe as a beam which is horizontal at, on or across two upright posts which are the columns. These are the basic elements within an architectural uh, structure and the structure is the basis for housing. This is uh, later developed further by the introduction of arts. What do, what's important about arts? Here we can see how they were built in the past, their shape, but basically it's a simple way of overcoming the limitations of materials. When you cannot apply traction to materials because they are only compression resistance, they can transmit the different loads which are found in this closing envelope of a house through a friction among the different parts of an arch. When you build that arch through uh, different parts, you can cover an, uh, a complete area without uh, having beams which have to support traction forces. And this is the key, the limitation uh, within the structural subsystem of the structure of traction in natural materials. Later, when we are have uh, to put together different arches and they meet, we have a, a, a dome and domes again have to transmit different forces by compression and friction in order to avoid traction. Well, this was the past and this is the origin and how we should be introducing the importance of the different stresses which have to be made, have to be met by the different materials. All in all, the architectural subsystem where we can specifically identify different constraints are the ones which are placed here. First of all, the foundation, the place where our housing is. This is uh, indeed needed to transmit all the different forces mechanical loading from the structure to the soil, the supporting part of our house. Later, we have to put in place the skeleton of our house, that's the structure. Obviously, for a house being a house, we need to have to close that through a skin, that's the enclosure. Once we have our basic living space, we have to distribute it, divisions, we have to introduce different services or facilities and the other elements come in place which are not so relevant for architectural application. So basically, the different architectural subsystem we should consider is foundation, structure, enclosure, division and facilities or others. Here, for example, uh, I present one example of a secondly developed uh, structure. In this case, we are using wood because wood can withstand traction very well. What we have only to do is to uh, distribute the overall actions or loads to the building into a smaller elements. For that, we need uh, different plates which are then hold or uh, put in place by our smaller beams which are transferring all the load, either wind, load, snow, whatever is coming to our house, to the foundation. This is the classical structure of wood houses or historic balloon framing where uh, we can place even roofs or any other actions through a truss or a collection of different beams of wood which are traction resistant. From there, we can evolve to other architectural elements, not only the columns and beams, which we have introduced, or the truss, a mesh, which is the basis for all Buddha structure, 
but the arcs, bolts, domes, and lately the sheets where new materials can withstand on the surface the transmission of all these forces. All these elements are to be found in what we call either the scheme, basically for sheet, or the structure of the building. And this is all I have to say about this brief introduction to understanding why architectural subsystems are in place and how you should handle the constraints in order to select your materials. Thank you very much.